Hello everyone, uh, I'm Richard. This, uh, today my topic is Synvert. Uh, improve and refactor your Ruby code easier. Uh, about me, I'm the founder at Shiming Labs. We build web and uh, mobile applications. I'm also a, a full stack developer and uh, an open source enthusiast, uh, aka Flyer, HCM. You can find me on GitHub, Twitter, and the other social networks. Okay, so what's Synvert? Uh, Synvert is short for syntax and plus uh, convert. So as its name implies, uh, it helps you, you to uh, convert your old deprecated Ruby code to new better syntax. Uh, let's see a quick demo. Okay, Synvert is a command line. Here we uh, list all snippets. Uh, one snippet will do one conversion. Here we use the uh, factory girl short syntax. Uh, it describes what, the what this snippet does. Uh, now our working directory is clean. Then we run the synvert with a uh, factory girl short syntax snippet. Now our working directory is changed. This is the different. You will see lots of factory girl dot blah blah. It simply change to blah blah. Uh, all of these are changed completely. Then all you want to, all you need to do is to uh, add a change and uh, commit with message like use short girl, uh, use factory girl short syntax by invert. Yeah, that's it. Uh, why we create a Synvert gem? Uh, Ruby world evolves very fast. It changes very fast. So you will see, like, a uh, factory girl prefer use a uh, short syntax from version 2. You can simply replace uh, factory girl dot create with create directly. And uh, aspect will deprecate short syntax in favor of expect. So the code, like, one should equal one should be replaced with expect one to equal one. And the uh, Rails 4 has deprecated dynamic finders like uh, user dot uh, find last by email and the active email and true should be replaced with uh, user dot where email is blah 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 and the active is true dot last. So changes happen frequently in Ruby community. And in our company, we have to do the conversion for different projects. And I think in other teams, they also have to do the uh, convert the syntax for their projects. But remember the principle, don't repeat yourself, no matter in one project or in multiple projects. So we try to avoid doing the conversion again and again in several projects. Uh, some tools can analyze and find out all the deprecated code, uh, like the Rails best practice I created. It can find out the code smell in your Rails projects. But you still have to change code manually. Sometimes it's boring and time consuming to do the conversion again and again. And the, if you change it manually, uh, you probably will introduce some new bugs like the typos. So Synvert can do more. It can not only find out the old deprecated uh, Ruby code, but also it can change to the new better syntax automatically. Uh, we try to do the things as automatically as possible. It make our code robust and uh, avoid letting engineers to do the uh, boring things. So how Synvert works? Uh, in short, uh, Synvert provides a DSL that can help you to convert the uh, Ruby source code. We and you can write snippets uh, which tell Synvert uh, how to do the conversion. Uh, first, let me introduce you about some background. Uh, first is abstract syntax tree. 
uh, short for uh, in short called uh, AST. So uh, Simvert use parser gen to uh, generate and pass AST nodes. Uh, for example, if your Ruby code is uh, post equal factory girl dot create symbol post, the corresponding AST node is uh, like a button. Uh, uh, it it the, the AST node is a local variable assignment node, and uh, it will also have a, a send node, which uh, whose receiver is factory girl a message is create. The argument is a uh, symbol post. Okay, uh, let's back to Silver. Uh, Silver can find uh, specified files. Uh, it can convert Ruby source code to AST nodes. It can find out specified AST nodes. It can check if specified AST node exists or not. And finally, it can add, replace, and remove specified code. This is also the uh, working working processes uh, in in Simvert internally. So a uh, snippet is a piece of code. It can tell Simvert what to do. Uh, this is a, a template of a snippet. Uh, in each snippet, it will create a rewriter, and in the rewriter, it has a, a if gen DSL, it will create a gen spec. It tells the writer to, to check the gen version. Only the gen version matches so we will do uh, the other things. And within files, DSL will create an instance. It will uh, find some specified files. And within node will create a scope. Uh, it defines some rules to, to find it find the specified AST nodes, and uh, if existing node or the uh, unless existing node will create a condition, it will check if some rules uh, matches or not. And finally, uh, an action will insert, replace, or remove code. Uh, here are some, uh, here are DSL and the rules documents. You can read them. Uh, to, to, to see how to write the, the snippet. Okay, let's learn from, uh, learn by examples. Uh, first, let's write a snippet, snippet to use factory girl short syntax. As you know that uh, from uh, version two, that factory girl can use the short syntax. Uh, before that, you must add include factory girl syntax methods module to class uh, test in test case and uh, in file test uh, test helper to RB. So our snippets look like this. It will create a, a writer and give it a unique name. Here is a uh, factory girl short syntax. And uh, within file says that we <coughs> we only uh, find the test test helper to RB file. And the within node said we will uh, find out a class AST node whose name must be test unit test case. So if we find that class, we will insert code include factory girl syntax methods module in that class. Uh, but you know that uh, factory girl introduced the short, short syntax from version two. So if you still use uh, factory girl one, uh, we, we, the snippet should not do anything. So let's check the gen version first. Uh, Simbert has a, a if gen DSL, it can check the gen version in gen 5 or lock. Here we define uh, factory girl version must greater than or equal to 2, then we will do the conversion. Uh, it works, but it will insert the the code every time, even the class already exist, already contain include factory girl syntax methods module. So before we do the insertion, we must check if the code already exists or not. Uh, here we insert uh, unless exists no DSL. It will check if the class contain the, the send, send AST node and uh, whose message is include and arguments is factory girl syntax method. So only when 
the, the same AST node does not exist in the class, then we will do the insertion. Okay, here we only, uh, the snippet only works for the test unit. We should, it should also work in mini test and the active support test case. Uh, snippet is a uh, pure Ruby code, so you can write any Ruby code as you like. Here we define uh, an array and list all the possible framework name. Uh, so there are a test unit test case, active support test case, and a mini test unit test case, a mini test spec, mini test rails active support test case. So it will check all the class nodes and uh, any class name match, then we will do the insertion. And uh, for us back, it is a bit different. Uh, instead of include the module in class, it will add the, the module in, in, in aspect.config block. So here we, uh, we, we try to find spec spec helper to amplifier and uh, we find out uh, the block node, block AC node instead of class node, and the, the color of the block node should be aspect.config, and then we will do the insertion. Uh, you may notice that the, the string to insert, it includes a double, uh, double curly brackets. Uh, here it will uh, insert the, the first argument the first argument of the, the block node, here it, it's uh, config. So the insert, uh, inserted code is config.factorygirl syntax methods. Uh, finally, uh, let's apply it to, uh, for Cucumber as well. Uh, in, in Cucumber, we should add the method called word factorygirl syntax methods. Uh, here we don't need to create a, a scope. We just uh, to to check if uh, word factory girls in text methods the the method call exists. If it does not exist, then we will do the insertion. Now uh, we already include a factory girl short in text methods module. Then we can replace the code like uh, factory girl dot create. Uh, we create directly. Here we find all uh, all Ruby files in in test spec and the features directory. Uh, we find the the send AST node whose receiver is factory girl, and the message is create. Then we replace such AST node with a create directly with uh, original arguments. So. If the original code is factory girl dot create uh, blah blah blah, then it will be replaced with uh, create blah 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 directly. Uh, uh, you know there are, there are other short syntaxes like the uh, build, create list, build list, etc. So uh, we define a new array here to list all possible uh, short syntaxes method. Uh, so they are uh, create build attributes for build stub, create list, build list, create pair, and build pair. And uh, if we find any of uh, the message call like the factory girl dot blah blah blah, replace them all of the, the short syntax. Uh, uh, finally, we should uh, write a description for this uh, for this writer. Uh, we, we use the description DSL to, to tell others what the snippet does. Uh, here it does, it, it does two things. First, it will uh, add the factory girl syntax method module. And the second, it just convert the, the old, uh, old message call to, to the new short syntax. Okay, uh, this is the part of the commit automatically did by subvert. Uh, as you can see that it will replace factory girl dot create with create. And uh, in the spec spec helper RP file to create 
uh, can fit out in crude factory girls in test methods. Uh, you may think that uh, uh, factory girl shell syntax is not very exciting because you can does it in your IDE or with uh, AS, uh, AWK or SED. So uh, I will introduce a new, uh, a complex example. Uh, we will write a snippet to convert Rails dynamic dividers. Uh, from Rails 4, dynamic finders are deprecated. So, uh, user dot find, find last by email active will be replaced with user dot where email is blah 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 activity true dot last. So the snippet uh, looks like this: uh, within files, it will find all the Ruby files and. Uh, we will find out a uh, send node whose message is start with, uh, whose message starts with find last by. And uh, as I said before, you can write any Ruby code as you like. So uh, the following four lines, it they are used to uh, to translate uh, to convert the the message call with arguments with the hash parents, so it will find, uh, it, it get find last by blah 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 and, uh, and plus the arguments, then it will generate the hash parents. Uh, the hash parents will look like uh, email is blah 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 and active is, is true. And uh, finally we will replace the AST, uh, replace the original code with uh, receiver, receiver is the original receiver. So if you you original code is user dot five by last, and the receiver is is just a user. So the uh, the the new code looks like a user dot where, and the hash parents is just a email is blah blah blah, and the activity true, and and we will add dot last. And uh, uh, there are other dynamic finders like uh, uh, find all initialized by blah 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 or the uh, find all by blah blah. So we we introduced a new DSL named uh, helper method to reuse some helper method. Uh, helper method DSL will define a uh, a helper method which is only available in, in current rewriter so it will not uh, pollute other, other helpers in other rewriters uh, so we define the helper method uh, dynamic finder to hash it will convert the dynamic finders with arguments to the uh, hash parameters and so our uh, code is much cleaner it, it can convert the dynamic finder like the find all by or find last by and other other methods just to the hash parents and replace replace them with a, a dot well syntax. So uh, this is uh, the part of uh, part of commit that that automatically uh, did by subvert. As you can see that uh, user dot find or initialize by identity UIL is replaced by find or initialize by uh, identity URL is blah blah blah. And uh, the bottom is uh, find by RSS key uh, replaced by where RSS key is blah 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 dot first. Uh, currently I wrote some snippets uh, they can convert the uh, factory girl short syntax. Uh, they can help to upgrade Rails from uh, 3.0 to 3.1, 3.1 to 3.2, uh, 3.2, And it can also convert some uh, ice aspect new syntax. Uh, also to convert to Ruby new hash syntax and Ruby new lambda syntax. Oh, uh, we are we are willing to wrote, write uh, more and more snippets for you. 
uh, CVERT is still in alpha stage, so we can change it or we can rewrite it in the future. But any issue and the pull request on GitHub are welcome. Uh, here are some references, the, the URL for CVERT and the past Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Richard. Thank um, you.